My favorite way of deploying web applications nowadays is using Next.js. It's a post TypeScript out of the box and in this lesson, we will build a basic web application using Next, so let's go. Next.js comes with this command line tool called Create Next App, which can really help bootstrap your next application. First step is to run npx create next app and it will ask you for your project name which we will call intro next. This sets up the project in a new directory and installs the required dependencies. Once it completes, we cd into the project directory. Now since we are going to be using TypeScript in our codebase, we are going to install TypeScript along with the type definitions for React. We create an empty TS config.json as next.js will automatically populate it with the correct options once it boots up. Now let's open up this project in our IDE. As mentioned, the tsconfig we created is completely empty, but if we open up the terminal and start next.js in dev mode by executing npm run dev, next will automatically populate it with the correct values. Also mentioned in the terminal is the fact that next.js has started our web application on localhost 3000, so let's open that up in our web browser. Currently, next.js is serving the index.js page within our pages folder. Let's migrate this over to TypeScript. If we jump back to our IDE and expand the pages folder, you can see an index.js and an underscore app.js. Moving them to TypeScript is as simple as changing the .js extension to .tsx. Now there is a third folder called API. We are going to delete this folder as it cannot be used with next export, which is the command line that we will use if we want to deploy our web application to a simple HTML server. Our code can still be dynamic, it's just that after we build our application, we want all the code to execute in the user's browser instead of a Node.js server where we will have to pay more money to maintain server resources. Now let's play around with our index page. We can see that it is a fairly simple React component and we saw before that it had a mention for pages slash index.js, so let's modify it to index.tsx and now if we visit the page in our browser, we can see the updated mention. Now you can continue to play around with the index page and even replace it with whatever else you want. But as an exercise, let's add a new page called social. Now when we create a new file under the pages folder, the file name is automatically converted into a route that is served by Next.js. So this page will automatically become available under slash social. Now we won't be using any Next.js special features within this page. We bring in the usual React suspects, which are use effect and use state, and then we create a simple React component and export it as the default export for this module. Now, just as an example, within the component, we have a state to manage the count of subscribers, and we set up a use effect that increments the subscribers by one after every second, and then we finally display the subscriber count in a simple H1. So now if we open up the browser and visit localhost 3000 slash social, we see our new component rendered beautifully by Next.js. And in case you haven't taken the hint already, please subscribe. Now right now we have Next running in the background in a Node.js server, but what if we wanted to serve this page using a pure HTML server? Fortunately, Next.js supports HTML exports, so we jump back into our IDE, open up the package.json, and add the command next export as a part of the build within our scripts. Next build does all the type checking and creates a production build in the .next folder. Next export takes that production build and exports it into static HTML that can be served with a simple HTML server. And now with our script setup, we can execute both of these in sequence by executing npm run builds. Once the build and the export completes, we get our output in the out folder. Within the out folder, you can see our static assets, including index.html as well as social.html. So now you can publish this out folder to any static HTML host that you want, for example, GitHub pages. If you wanted, we could even serve it up locally by using the serve npm module, which we can execute by running npx serve, passing in the name of the output folder, which is out. This starts serving the out folder at localhost 5000. So if we open that up, you can see that our application is working perfectly fine and we can even visit the social page and this is all being done by serving static HTML and running JavaScript on the client's browser. Now this page is actually being pre-rendered by Next.js during Next export and we can see what is pre-rendered by opening up the developer tools, going to the network tab, refreshing the page and seeing what comes down initially 
and you can see that it comes down with the static text subscribers 6000 in the initial request. And this is great for search engine optimization because this means that a search engine can view the initial contents of a website without having to run any JavaScript. And that's all for this lesson on getting started with Next.js. If you enjoyed this lesson, smash that like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.